This is so long overdue. Let's declutter my bedroom, my life, and do a little mini room transformation for the new year. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I have been spending a lot of time in my room this past week and I have really realized that there are so many things that don't serve me or align with me in this room anymore and just need to be decluttered overall. I have many different parts and sections of my room which I will get into and show you guys kind of like what we're working with before we actually get to doing things around here. But a lot of these things I've been meaning to do for so long and I swear when it comes to my room, I'm so bad at like just acting on things and adding personalizations and decor as I go. I tend to kind of just live with my room how it is for a very long time. A lot of my furniture is actually furniture I've had since I was really young. This bed frame, this kind of dresser vanity type thing, this dresser, my desk. And because of that, I have kept everything very similar for years. So let's get to the problem areas and things that I've been wanting to change that don't feel like me anymore. The first and probably most hated part of my room right now is this situation here. Do I love this dresser thing as a whole? Not really, but I think for now at least I will be just gutting the books, figuring out what I even want in here, and just removing everything in here. I do have clothing in these drawers and I do want this space for clothing, so I think that I will be keeping this in my room for now or at least for the foreseeable future. Removing these old books will totally revamp this piece of furniture for me and just make me feel a lot better. As you can see, I also have stuffed animals here which is just not cute or ideal at all. I also have LED light strips that I put in during COVID and that I want to be taken down. It's just I don't know if it's going to ruin my walls by taking them down. We are going to experiment with that today and see what happens. Honestly, I really love my desk area. I love this cork board. It just needs to be filled out more so I might print out some images and like aesthetic photos or just add more little memory pieces to it and stick it on because I do want to fill it out more I've been meaning to. I also got this poster. It's an angel numbers poster that I got at the Melrose Trading Post when I was in LA and I haven't put it up yet but I actually ideally would love for it to be on the wall like this or somewhere around here. I just don't know really where or how I want to like line it up beside this cork board here. These crates are great organizers but definitely need some reorganization. It's got a little bit out of hand the more things I accumulate and put in there but I think mainly it's going to be the cork board and putting up that poster. Another area which is probably my favorite area, this coat rack that I have, and then my nightstand. These tote bags here have gotten really out of hand. This is like the main priority to just kind of filter out and either remove them and put them away in storage or put some of them in other places because I don't want to have tons of bags and tote bags just like hanging off. I love my nightstand. I think that I could definitely find some sort of dish or tray for my diffuser and all of these essential oils that I have. I don't really love them just all sitting out, but for now it's still clean and organized to me at least. This is another big problem area for me. I don't know what you guys do about boxes, but I've put all of my like technology boxes under my nightstand and I don't love it at all. Like it looks ugly and I think maybe I need to put them into a bin or like under my bed maybe. I just don't know like what to do about this area but I guess maybe we'll see in this video and maybe I can tackle that this week. We'll see. The other thing is like if I do get rid of those boxes under my nightstand like what do I even want to be under my nightstand? I don't even know what I'd actually want to store down there. It's hard because I have a lot of things that I don't even know where I really want to put them. Like I have phone cases, I have some nail polish stuff and like just nail tools in general. I have a speaker. I have like my Polaroid camera. I have like an Instax mini. I've got candles and I just don't know like where I should store these things. I think they need to ideally go into like bins and somewhere in my room at least. Another area that I want to tackle which is going to be kind of minimal. I really love my setup here with my perfumes but I don't love my deodorant just being out in the open like that. Ideally I could even move this bin somewhere else to another part of my room. I want to remove this Christmas tree. Obviously it's not Christmas 
anymore so I want to get rid of that on my nightstand and maybe there's something else I can add or remove here I also have all these mini perfumes that I haven't really found a place for but I don't know it could be okay to just be here too and then I have a couple crystals this is something I actually made myself I might move around these little dishes I have another couple dishes which maybe could go to good use for other parts of my room I am planning on tackling my books first and I think that'll be a great starting place I also didn't mention but I have these that I used to have on my wall and they're just chilling there so I don't know what I'm doing with that I feel like I really should just like move it out of the way because it's space that I could actually be using up so I also want to get rid of those and like I mentioned the stuffies that are in the corner because I'm literally not five I'm 23 that's the first area I'm gonna tackle and then we're gonna move on to trying to maybe take down the LED light strips a bit now and I'm losing my good lighting in my room because I went and had lunch and my battery needed to charge but this is the progress I feel like it's not perfect and I honestly don't know what the vision is for this area yet but I've just got my little hanging plant here from Ikea I really want to use this as like storage space and just a place to put things that I want to store but like also want to be on display so I feel like I have to figure that out still and then I just have like all my gratitude journals and then books I've read and then I have a little oak and candle which I feel like is really cute decor and a few books that I really love that I've had for years so I feel like I'm kind of using them as like coffee table-esque books but yeah this is still kind of undecided but I've got all my books in this box which I'm really proud of and happy about. guys I just put this poster up I love it I feel like I'm always on the fence with putting up posters or any wall art because I don't know how to put it up the best way without ruining my walls because I feel like double-sided tape no matter how much they say it doesn't ruin your walls it always ruins my walls for me so I just did some clear little thumbtacks and I feel like it looks so good and I feel like my desk looks already a lot cuter I still have to kind of add to the cork board that might not be a today project I think next I'm gonna do the LED strips and see how we can do with that obviously it got all these tote bags to put away and then I have these things which I kind of want to put somewhere as well and my nail products so I'm kind of like sectioning things off based on cleaning this and then this is kind of the progress right now it looks a lot better even if it's just plain and then I still got to remove stuffies here it's been even longer and I've been making a lot of progress I feel like kind of had some shoe boxes in my closet which I've been kind of reorganizing but I've decided to put all my like shoe boxes and just boxes in general under my bed so I have been doing a lot of progress with under my bed and that's been really good my desk is still looking messy haven't done anything with the cork board yet still got stuff laying out on my bed but I found this frame that was just sitting in my closet I think I received it as a gift and I just never put a photo in it but I want to put a photo of Brandon and I in here and it also matches my room well I think the light tones match well with my room because my walls are light my curtains are white and all of my other frames are white like the ones above my bed so this is great I'm gonna get a photo of Brandon and I printed out to pick up at London Drugs so I'm gonna do that and then pick it up this week and I feel like that'll be so nice and I want to put it right here I think this is the perfect spot to put a little photo I'm gonna move these books probably to here and then this might be like a books slash decor area and then what I've done here is I've just lined up my little devices there and then I have my Ikea plants I feel like this is actually turning out really really cute and then maybe on this side actually beside the books I'm gonna put some sort of storage bin like maybe I get another crate so I can put like my nail polishes or something like phone cases I don't know I think that'd be perfect I think this is all coming together so good and I'm really excited <laughs> Hello you guys, it is the next day and there is a beautiful sunset. 
It's already dark in my room, but I've got my lamp on. I've got the Citrus Bliss essential oil going right now, which makes my room just smell so fresh and clean. And I've been loving it. I reorganized this yesterday. I'm already loving this 10 times better. And I'm also loving this poster. So, so far so good. I wanna try and tackle those LED lights now. I really do think it's gonna rip the paint off, but we shall see. Let's try and tackle that together right now. Okay, the update is that I am keeping my LED strips on just because they're completely gonna ruin my wall And I'd rather the look of the LED light strips than my paint being ruined all along the wall But at least I got this gross little box thing that was dangling down off I have to kind of just stick them to the wall there So we're just gonna go with that and live with it like decluttering my room and my space that I've been feeling really needs some help and some work and some like actual focus time on is organizing my bags and my purses that I bring around with me every single day and just being purposeful with what's inside of them. So let's do a little what's in my bag slash like declutter my bag with me. On my desk, I have this little pouch that has some lip products and things that I can put in my purses that I've kind of accumulated from my other bags like my backpacks and other bags that I've previously stuffed things in so we've got a little Kleenex pack we've got an Isntree hyaluronic acid sunscreen stick I really like this for like reapplying sunscreen on the go hand sanitizer I don't know why I haven't had this in my actual purses but hand sanitizer I've got a little baby thing of Advil just in case you know period cramps whatever my road lip balm this is the salted caramel flavor it's really good I've got the essence lip gloss that's just like clear I actually really love this lip gloss and I highly recommend it I've got a little hand cream by the brand Glycomed and then I have another hand cream by Byredo it's their bald eye freak scent so this is my little pouch for this type of bag I would love to have my pouch in it this is is from anthropology and I got it for Christmas so I've been loving just like throwing a bunch of stuff in this bag but let's unload this bag first because this is my most recently used bag so first I have sunglasses which I just recently threw in because I realized it still gets sunny in the winter and recently I've been driving and then not having sunglasses so I put those in my bag I've got my wallet and keys oh this is like a little stain remover I think it's a natural stain remover it's by the brand Jade it's actually Actually really really good and works better than tied to go sticks I don't know where my mom got it but she gave it to me and that's everything that's in this bag so far I know I have other lip glosses and stuff in these other bags this one is from Brandy Melville it's probably my most worn and used little shoulder bag I totally forgot I do have a hand sanitizer this is by Touchland I got it when I was in Seattle because we don't have it here in Canada gum that's really important and then I have a tied to go stick which I don't know I have a feeling that it's kind of running low, but we'll keep it anyways. And then I've got a Say Lip Oil. This is in the shade Dip. I actually really love this. So hydrating. And I like to reapply this throughout the day. So I've got that. And then obviously in the little pockets, I've got, I've got tampons and stuff. Just realized in the compartment of this one, I have a little black opium YSL perfume. This is actually really nice to throw in my bag. I forgot that was in there. So see, this is actually really important to do because I just just lose my stuff I don't know where things are half the time so it's actually really helpful to maybe use this pouch and just have everything in it and then before I leave I can just like add everything to my purse but I don't know if there's anything that needs to be like taken out I think maybe I'll put this lip gloss and this hand cream in my bathroom I don't know if I really need this sun stick because it's not summer it's actually really nice for spring summer though I think I'll remove it for now and then I don't know if I need two hand sanitizers so I'll probably remove that 
that too and i'll put them in this pouch and then let's just go through this coach bag too i just got a tampon in this one and nothing else so that's good maybe i'll just keep the tampon in there i also just realized i probably don't need this tie to go so i'm putting that in the pouch but i think everything will probably go in this this is probably my favorite bag right now to bring just because it has so much space so i'm gonna put my sunglasses stain remover i feel like i probably would like to have both of these in my bag so i'm gonna put both the road and the say in there my byredo hand cream i feel like this can come in handy this phoenix i'm gonna do that and then the touchland hand sanitizer the black opium wallet and then i don't know if i need to bring the advil it gets kind of loud and makes a noise when it's in my bag so i'm just gonna keep it in the pouch that's my little what's in my bag and i think that was actually really helpful to do because i just feel clearer and then when i go out i like know what's in my bag and i think this is actually really good to do every so often and i highly recommend if you haven't done that in a long time so much for watching my decluttering for 2024 video i feel so much better with my room and just happier like i feel like i want to be in here longer and more because of how good it looks and how decluttered it feels even just having like my desk area so cute it makes me want to sit at my desk more i just feel like i'm admiring my room so much more i also have a really good amount of things to donate so i'm going to be taking this to my local donation center soon and i just feel so good about it so thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already i hope this video gave you guys some inspiration on how you can clean up your space for the new year and declutter things that you might not need anymore and just to go into the year with a fresh start so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video i love you so much and i will see you guys in next week's video Nine, two, eight,